If you're watching this on the Tiny Build channel, the Fight and Stash update for Cartel Tycoon is available right now. And you can get Cartel Tycoon on a Steam weekly deal with a high, high discount. The link to the game is in the description. Enjoy this devlog. Bye bye. Holocapos, it's me, Andre, once again. The first major update of 2023 is almost here. And today I'll tell you all about what's inside. Let's get right into it. First, let's talk about the long-awaited rework of the combat system. The core is still the same, you win if you have more power. No tricks here. But in the new system, power is not everything. And if you're not careful enough, you can lose any fight. We want combat to be more impactful and require some strategic planning beforehand. Your lieutenants are playing a crucial role in the reworked combat. They can be injured during the fight, they can lose their power, some of them can run away from the battlefield, while others will fight to their dying breath. It's no longer just about winning the fight with more power points, it's about building a team with different tactics in mind. Every lieutenant now has an endurance bar that depletes during the fight. The lower it is, the higher a chance to acquire a certain debuff, power loss, injury or even arrest. After the fight ends, your lieutenants must rest a bit to refill their endurance. And certain buildings like residencies or hotels will speed up this process. Power loss and arrest are pretty self-explanatory, but you're probably wondering how an injury will work. When your lieutenant is injured during the fight, their power no longer counts. So it can be a pretty big blow to your operation. And you also have a choice. You can evacuate your lieutenant from the fight immediately it will cost some money, of course, but they will be safely recovering in one of your buildings. Or you can decide to leave them on the battlefield. If you win the fight, you'll still have time to bring them to one of your buildings for them to heal. But if you lose, they will die. Because lieutenants are so crucial in the reworked combat system, we made more than 10 new abilities for them and reworked some old ones. The coordinator ability is much more useful now. Some of the new abilities are active and some are passive. For example, some of your lieutenants fight better when they're alone and others make everyone else more powerful. Certain lieutenants will also acquire buffs to their power instead of debuffs if their endurance is low. We want combat to be much more meaningful and refined, but that's not the only thing coming with this update. With a more complex combat system, we're also introducing a new illegal resource. Weapons. Uh, you can't grow weapons on your farms, but you will be able to buy them from certain places, like guerrillas or enemy gangs. Weapons give a boost to your overall power level during the fight and allow you to perform powerful attacks that can change the tide of combat. Weapons are optional in fights, and they're pretty expensive, but they certainly can help you in fights you had no chance of winning without them. There are a lot of nuances, new abilities, and smaller changes connected to the combat rework. If I listed them all here, the video will be longer than the Godfather trilogy. But I know that all of you are eager to know more, and that's why we'll be publishing a more detailed guide to the new system in the coming days. And of course, all of the changes will be listed in the patch notes. But combat is only half of the update. Let's get to the second part. We all know that money can be dirty or clean, and by mid-game you can be swimming in dirty cash, which Sounds nice, but also brings a lot of unwanted attention to you. Your selling points are overflowing and you're frantically putting all of your excess dirty money in cities while your terror is rising. But what if, what if you just hide it? But where, you may ask? And that's where caches come in. Cache is a new type of building and its purpose is to let you hide things from the government's eyes. You can build two types of caches, dugouts and subterranean storages, with different storage sizes, which will be useful in different stages of the game or for different purposes. These buildings are hidden and they will not get any attention unless you're actively burying the money or taking it out. Feel like a real capo with hidden caches all around the country. You can hide the excesses for a rainy day, when you, for example, need to pay a bribe or need some extra cash for laundering buildings. You can, of course, build multiple caches and don't be afraid, a police car won't notice them. 
Of course, there's also a catch. Cartel Tycoon is a harsh game after all. When your money is hidden in caches, it will deteriorate over time. There are all kinds of critters underground. So if you forget your cache for a couple of years, you may find an empty storage and a, a very big rat. We can't wait for you to check out these buildings and hide your dirty money all over your property. There's also another change coming with this update. When you open the story mode menu, you may notice a new campaign there called Lambs to the Slaughter. We've decided to make the special building arc a separate campaign, so you don't have to play a long sandbox game before getting access to it. We love this storyline so much, so we wanted to give you an easier access to it. And the update won't be the only thing hitting the stores. We've created a new lieutenant pack with five brand new lieutenants with abilities related to the combat system rework. We'll make a separate video about them closer to the release of the DLC. The fight and stash update is the first update we'll be releasing this year, but we've got a lot more planned for 2023. We hope that you'll enjoy the changes and new content, and we're so excited to continue expanding and reforming Cartel Tycoon. Once again, my name is Andrei, see you soon, Kapus. Bye-bye.